All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I got laid off. What? I thought the same thing too, but I was staring at the email, went to my director's office and he was telling me he was sorry, blah, blah, blah. Can you just Is that even legal? How can they just lay someone off without conversation or parallel uh, warning or something? To, to be honest, they've been hinting on it, but I just didn't think I'll be affected. I've just been promoted with a raise. Oh, wow! Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you! Baby, it's a good thing. This is great news. I mean, the raise is a lot of money. So it's, it will go a long way in helping us. So now, you can just, um, Wait, you know... So I'm now a charity case. Fred, I never said you were. You just implied it. We, I can now use the money for... You know what? Fred, I am not your problem. Who the hell did I marry? That's the same thing I've been asking myself. How did I end up with the most wicked person I have seen in my entire life. You think I'm wicked? Yes, you, you are wicked. <sighs> Thank God. Because it means psychologically you have prepared yourself for the kind of level I'm about to enter, that I'm about to unleash on you. Please wear the car keys. I'm running late for work. Where is which car keys? Where is the car keys? I don't have time for this rubbish. My car key, you mean? Is that the game you're playing? Isn't that the game you've been playing? I hope you're happy now. Because I have just lost my job. Now we're both jobless. Oh! <laughs> I hate you. All right, guys. So let's talk about this one, a love like ours. And this really boils down to something that's important with, you know, relationships that are starting off these days. Now, back in the days, when men were looking for wives, they were looking for wives that already understood that they're going to be stay at home, already understood that they're going to help out. Uh, if it's like a farm business that they have, poultry, they're going to help out there. So essentially, that's the way it is with traditional marriages back in the days. But these days, a lot of men, not just really because of the societal changes, but the fact that, you know, with the you know, emergence of social media, people are now privy to seeing things that they would have otherwise never dreamt of. And all of a sudden they're seeing it and they're dreaming it. And, you know, expectations are high, cost of living has changed and uh, all the whatnot. Nobody's living in the village anymore. You know, farming is no longer the thing. So there's a lot of things that have led to these, you know, changes. And, with those changes came more family expenses, you know. Kids now go to school. Back in the days, maybe the kids don't go to school or maybe they go to free government schools or sometimes they just grow up helping in the farmyard and that's all they do. You know, but these days there's all these other family expenses that have led to men looking for women that can also bring in income. It becomes important. So you always see men that want to know what she does. What do you do? What do you do for a living? You know, are you working? Can you support the family financially? And yeah, you know, if the family needs a good life and it requires both parents to work, then so be it. There's no problem with that. Back to the discussion of this is the man lost his job. And all of a sudden, you know, the lady got promoted. So the, you know, income in the family increased from her side, decreased from his side. But, you know, the guy kind of turned into something else after that. You know, doubting everything she did, said, you know, making it difficult to just uh, live in peace. And I don't know why guys do this. Because definitely at the beginning when you were wondering if she has a job, it was so that she can support the family if the need ever arises. But I don't understand why when the need now arises, guys start acting up. You know, I don't know if it's in what the ladies say, 
you know, maybe she starts using bad words or maybe she starts uh, cursing, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if guys even wait to get there or if they just start picking up cues that might or might not have implied what they now accuse the girls of, you know, doing. If it's the lady that's doing this, you know, uh, acting however, you know, rude to the husband, you know, then yeah, maybe the ladies need to change. But I don't think that's the case. I think guys just start feeling somehow about the fact that it's the girl that's bringing him money. So little things that she would say would upset him, you know. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I get that for a man that used to be the breadwinner, having to really get that duties to your wife, it kind of makes you feel, you know, different, less of a man. Uh, and if that's the case, then for sure it needs to be addressed, you know, between the couples. You know, but if you're a guy and you are having problems with your lady just because you lost your job and now she's the one that's the breadwinner, you know, and she's not doing anything, because I know for a fact you know when she's doing something and when you just choose to allow your mind to mess with you. If she's not doing anything, then, you know, try to cut it off. You know, be a better person, be an understanding man, you know. Uh, that you laid your, your you got laid off is not a spite on you. It's just what the economy is. It might just be that the company is you know you know cutting down or whatever the case may be. But you know don't project this against your spouse uh, that's actually keeping the family together because that's really what we want when you ask a lady you know what do they do. How can what you do support the family down the line if the need arises? This is the need none arising. And, you know, if you have a lady that steps up to the plate and takes over the family expenses, you should appreciate her and not tear her down. And that's all I have for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.